Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I'll wait to see if anybody comes on. And if three minutes, I'll start and to record. Okay. Okay, hello, I see someone out there. This is a quick, short live. I want to share this fun technique. So, hello to you out there. Whoever you are, you can say hello in the chat. I'm starting in like two minutes. Just want to light my candle right now. It smells so good. And let this down for a little bit. Nice aroma. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, let me make sure this is showing up. Okay, so tonight I'm on here just to show this quick background um, technique. Oh my goodness, I I just so I just so enjoy it. I just like it so much, and it's so easy that I wanted to share it. And also another idea I have um, for this technique if the person doesn't have artist tact. But right now what this is, this is actually some glue dots and some gold leaf um, or flakes. Gold, um, purple flakes. Hold on, I gotta lock this. It's trying to... Okay, there we go. Let me lock it. Okay. And so, what I'm going to read is Proverbs 31. And then, um, do the background, show the background technique. Mm -hmm. Oh, before I do that, I am going to share this right here. I first practiced this technique on these cards. Now, I learned about this graphics um, artist tech um, technique from a creative, um, a video by Lolly Palooza um, at a creativation event. And so I said, let me try it, but they did it with glitter. But I decided to try it with flakes to see if it would work. And it did. And then I did something here where you can see the flakes let me you see right there so nice um and it worked and i'm going to show what this is in a moment it's easier for me to do this live than to do um a video because with this i do not have to um edit i'm putting a little bit of lotion on my hands because it's so dry but I'm going to read Proverbs 31, but I'm not teaching on this tonight. Um, I, it's just on my heart to do um, the background technique on this chapter, um, on a verse from this chapter. So Proverbs 31, Sayings of King Lemuel. The sayings of King Lemuel, an inspired utterance his mother taught him. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers. Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for rulers to crave beer. Lest they drink and forget what has been decreed. And deprive all the oppressed of their rights. 
Let beer be for those who are perishing, wine for those who are in anguish. Let them drink and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all who are destitute, speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Verse 10. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her family servants. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps with the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works praise her. Let her and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. And that's Proverbs 31. So I'm going to go ahead and share the technique like I said, I'm reading the scripture just because that's what I'm going to do the background on. But I don't, I'm not teaching at all tonight. I just want to really share this background. So this right here is called Artist Tact. This is Artist Tact. It's permanent dry adhesive. And it has, it's by graphics. And it has these little um, dots I'm going to show in a minute. Let me cut a piece out. I probably should put a picture of um, the technique that I'm doing. But it's basically um, some glue with um, the leafing and the flakes. So let me see if I'm going to hold this up. See if, it, if you can see it on camera while I'm holding it up. Okay. Okay, let me see. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try and show it anyway. Right. If you look carefully, you can see these little, little, these little dots right there. And it's adhesive. So, what I did to do this technique here, I put down pieces of this adhesive um, in several places. So, I'm putting that there. 
Then there's another piece. I'm going to cut this. And I put them in random places. Like I said, I'm just really on here because I want to share this technique. But I do not want to do a video and then have to edit it. The good thing about live is you don't have to edit anything. Well, I don't bother with it anyway. So, once I finish it, it's there and that's that. Okay, so I'm not really looking for... I didn't advertise this. I just decided to come out on it spontaneously. Okay. Ready, and so we'll put this here. Okay, we'll cut this. Um, and let's see. Okay. Oopsie. I don't want to go over my words. So I'll put this one here. And I think I'll put this here. Okay. So let me move that out the way. So now I have that down. Let me take a piece of this. And so I'm burnishing it down so that adhesive can get on here and I think I'm going to use um, I'm not going to use purple again so let's I'm gonna peel this up so now I got all this adhesive down here So what I'm going to do first is put down the gold. I think I'm going to use. I'm going to put down some gold flakes. So that's what I have here. I got this from Stampin' Up. So I'm going to go ahead and put down. Some people call it gold leafing. It could be gold flakes. And I have a toothbrush designated just for this. And this is what I do. I just go like that. Oh, there's some purple still in here, but that's okay. Let me get a piece of paper here. So now this this has a bunch of glue all over it. This page. So, all right. Let me put this piece of flake here. Um, leafing or flakes right here. Okay. And I use this toothbrush just to burnish it. To rub it in rather. Oh, good luck. This stuff gets all over the place. That's the only thing. But still fun to play with it. So now you can see all these little dots. I think you can see it. I wonder if I should make, make this come up some more. Hmm. I'll hold it up afterwards. I think you can see it. And so look at that. I just love that. Oh my goodness. Alright, so, and I like using this toothbrush because um, it gets down into the glue. Alright, and I can put all that back in here. Do not use this stuff with a fan on, unless you just want to be like you in a bunch of fairy dust or something with this stuff. It's no joke. 
So I'm going to go ahead now and clear that off. I see people coming on and off, on and off. Hello to you. Feel free to write in the chat. I'm just doing a quick live to show this technique. I'm not staying on long. I basically did this so I won't have to do a video and edit. So, okay. It's just such a fun technique. So, ooh, look at that. Hold on, let me blow this candle out. The scent is around now. Okay, so now let me hold it up. Because so, I'm not finished yet. Ooh, you see that? And that's just from those glue dots, that adhesive. So now I'm going to go back in. Good Lord. Go leafing all over the place. Okay. So, I'm going to put down some more um, artist tack. So I understand everybody may not have this, so I'm gonna show um, a way to, uh, you might have leafing or gold, some flakes. So there is a way, um, another way to do this, to make another um, fun background. So, so now I'm laying this like this. I'm laying it in the spots that does not have any gold so it's going to be layered and i think i'm going to use the red i wasn't at first but why not okay okay this is something fun i could do on a weekday <laughs> about to attire for the night shortly that's one thing I really like about lives you just do it and it's done no editing or anything like that okay I think I'm going to put one more piece. I gave myself 30 minutes to be on here tonight. Okay. So now I have those papers down. Let me burnish it down. Still going to be getting some of this gold off too. Oopsie. Alright. So now I'm going to take this off. So now I'm going to deal with this red. Oh. Coming out of this this out of this jar is not easy, but um that's part of the fun for some people anyway, the messiness. So I'm going to put some here. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a piece right here. There we go. Yeah. See that? Oh my goodness. I just. This is so easy and so. I just like the effect of it. I really do. Like. I'm gonna come over here. Then put some more down. Ooh, that's a lot, but that's all right. Okay. I like that a lot. It looks better too once you clean it all off. So right now what I'm doing is make sure making sure that 
I don't have anything sticky. Because I don't want when I close my Bible page for it to stick together. But as long as flakes get on all the, the glue, the sticky part, the adhesive, I don't have to worry about my pages sticking together. Alright, so good. So that is really cool. I did bring up, did I put that brush? I sure did, I put it back. But you know what? That's okay because I do not want to mix this red. Look at how it gets on my nail. Look at that. Do you keep put it on your nails? I'm gonna have to wash that off. Oh, well, it looks pretty, so oh well. Okay, so now here we go. Because there was glue on my nail from pulling up the graphics, the artist tag. Okay. So I'm gonna put this over here. I do not need that blowing everywhere. Okay. So Alrighty. Put this over here. Alright. So Oh, look at that. That I like that so much. I mean, can you see the red? I don't know if the red is showing up. But see, this is the purple one I did. The purple and gold one. Ooh. I guess this one don't have... Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Like, I'm, I better close this up. I have a mess on my hands. All right. And so, that's it with the artist tap. Now, I'm going to show if a person doesn't have artist tap, but they just have a maybe a glue runner. Um, a tape runner, I should say. I just gotta clean up some of this. Oh my. Okay. One second. I gotta do something real quick. Oh, honey, you see those baby? I'm still live, okay? I just shut down my arm. Close my camera because I don't have. I'm looking kind of crazy on the um put my pants and stuff. I don't want nobody to see that craziness. Alrighty, hold on one second. Oh, coming back. I see a couple of people came on and one person came on. It's like one person's there, but they're not saying who they are. But that's okay. All right, so. I just had to get a baby wipe because it was just make it better. All right, let me put this back up. And I'm back. Hola. Okay, so. So, that's it for that artist tack. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the glue runner. This thing is everywhere. That's the only thing. All right, so. With the glue runner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another page here. Ooh, and I'm going to use this page to show it with the glue runner. And I think I'm going to only use silver. Okay. I will not be doing a big cleanup in here tonight. It's just going to stay just like this because. Okay. So where I put the, um, the tape now. Hey, Jesus. I just had it. This is why... Oh, here we go. I don't work too well when it's messy. Okay. So, um, you this is um stamping up, st stamping seal, but you can use like Elmer's. It's all different kind of brands. I forgot what brand this was, but there are so many brands of... Um, Take one of so um very simple. I'm just gonna hide. 
just putting glue down. If you don't even have a tape well, on maybe you just have some type of double-sided tape. That's what you really need, actually. All right. I don't want it on the words. No, get off. Okay, right here. And then right here. And so, I'm going to... Oh, hi, Tammy. How are you? How was your day? I'm on here really quick just showing this technique. I feel like making a video and editing. So I was like, let me just come on live and don't have to worry about no editing or anything like that. So I'm just on here real quick. Um... And so now, I already showed, I don't know if that, if you was there before, but I had already showed, like, um, how could I say, like, doing it with the artist tack. Um, I'll show it again at the end, because I can't close the page now, because I got that glue on it. <laughs> so I'm showing how to use, like, some leafing, and, um adhesive for a background oh you worked out today that's cool i did some stretching this morning and some dance rehearsal um of this this particular move that i just need to like focus on to get so that was i did that early this morning myself working out oh you just got on oh okay yeah so that was somebody else um I have people popping in and out since I've been on. Okay, so here it is now. So I'm putting these silver flakes. You see that? Okay. Oopsie. All right. And so, let me put this back on this top. That's one thing with these flakes. And they've been so pretty, but... Oh my goodness. Y'all hold on. I hope my pot. Y'all hold on a second. Okay, so I got to hurry up here because you know what happened? My lawn went off. My, that water boiled out my pot so fast. I'm making beef stew. I'm doing some meal prepping. And um, when I sat down, it was, the pot had so much um, gravy in it. And it, um, it, bro it boiled out. But it didn't get burnt too bad, so... I'm going to finish this because I got glue on this page. And then go and put a little bit more water and put the potatoes and stuff in it. So, that's why you say don't, don't cook in the back. My husband just told me I've been in here for a long time. I didn't realize it. But, um, well, I got on, I think, like around 8. My plan was 30 minutes, but, you know. So, I'm going to finish this up real quick to show how it works with the tape runner. So, this is, even though, even though it's easy, it is sort of like a messy technique. But I still think it's a lot of fun.
It's not. I don't think it's difficult. Well, I'm not going to say it's, you don't have to think. Because I think that anything that you do, you got to think. So, I just think it's, for many people, it might be easy. But that is relative. Because what's easy for one person may not be easy for someone else. And what's difficult for someone else may not be difficult for another person. So, I try to remember that. But like, that's so easy. Like, to you it is. So, but, when I say easy peasy, it's easy peasy for me. Since I'm doing the video. Okay. I think I don't think I need any more. I'm about to get off here in like five minutes. I'm gonna show this. And so if you have some gold leaf and you can do this, you can also do this with glitter. It's a fun way to do a different kind of background. Okay. Ooh. It looks better in person than it does on the camera. You could not find my email address. Okay, so it's gloryexpressed at gmail.com. Gloryexpressed at gmail.com. Okay. All right, I got to go tend to this pot. So let me hold this up. Oh, so you see? That's all that leaf and those flakes. Those are called flakes. Right, and then you could put a sentiment or something down, and this doesn't look it doesn't look perfect. I mean, that's not what I'm going for. I'm not going for a perfect look. It looks sort of distressed, and I'm good with that. And here's the other one that I did today a few minutes ago. That's this one right here. So it's like I prepared the background before I put a sentiment. All word. I don't want to put any other image on top of this because I want it similar to this. This is the one I did the other day on Proverbs 11 to B. And this is with the gold and purple. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I like, I just think it's so simple and nice. And that's with the red and gold. Ooh. And this is with that silver, which I'm going to go back in at some and do another color because I don't want it just silver. I probably do three different colors and I probably end up like laying down the dots with this, like combining it. Yeah, so that's it for tonight. I just want to share that technique and I do have to go back in and tend to my pot before it gets like um like how gets stiff in that pot that's what you heard that alarm going off that was um what you call that the fuck um you know in the house oh, i'm it's late i'm tired <laughs> not the fire alarm but the smoke detector okay so that's it tammy thanks for coming on and everybody else that came on to view um so that's it for tonight so with that being said i want to say thanks for watching God bless you and remember, Jesus loves you. Good night. Bye.